In this video, we're going to talk about how we use drones in our mapping process, both for creating stunning aerials, for doing visual inspection, and creating contour maps. We just recently got a drone, which is helping us do all of our mapping within our company. I'm just on a client's property right now, and I'm about to launch my drone and do an aerial survey of the property, which will give us a contour map and a water analysis and help us to plan out the entire property. So we're just flying around the property to get a perspective that you don't normally get on the ground. You see the wetland there. So there's a lot of biodiversity on this property. We're 73 meters high. Sure gives us a different perspective of the property. And we're gonna ask the drone to come back to us. All right, so we are back from the field right now, and I'm gonna take you through some of the outputs that we, were, we created with the, the drone itself. So how we took a series of high definition images and then stitched it together into a unified map. And then from there, we did some post-processing with the GIS program to produce a contour map and some water analysis for the actual property itself. This contour map gives us all sorts of information with regards to how water is going to move through the property. Um, it gives us information about where the water actually is, um, as well as we can see this little green spot here. This is actually a hole on the property, so we can tell that there's definitely some water harvesting going on right here. What you're looking at here right now is our water harvesting map that we produce. There's not an enormous amount of catchment for this particular property. There's not a lot of water that you can visibly see coming onto the property. These little lines represent total catchment area. So in the legend over on this side, each color corresponds to a different catchment size. Um, and when we apply that to an efficiency coefficient in terms of like how much water is going to get absorbed by the soil versus how much is going to be shed off of the soil, we can start to understand how much erosion or potential water catchment we might have for a particular property. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, check out our website at vergepermaculture.ca and leave some comments below.